Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Today, I will make three common Korean side dishes that you can keep for a few weeks. First, we will make the stir-fried seasoned cuttlefish side dish called j i m m i t e bokgum in Korean. Prepare three cups of seasoned cuttlefish. If some pieces are too long like this, cut them with scissors. Put 2 tablespoons of cooking oil in a heated pan. Then add 2 tablespoons of hot pepper paste, 1.5 tablespoons of corn syrup, 1 tablespoon of cooking wine, half tablespoon of soy sauce, half tablespoon of sugar, half tablespoon of minced garlic, and 1 dash of ginger powder. Mix everything together. Cook the sauce for a minute on medium. Then add the seasoned cuttlefish and stir fry for about 5 minutes. Keep stirring it so that the sauce will evenly coat the cuttlefish and not burn. After 5 minutes, turn off the heat and sprinkle 1 teaspoon of sesame seed on top. Put the cooked cuttlefish in a quart-sized container with a lid. Store it in the refrigerator and it should last up to 3 weeks. For the second side, let's make the delicious quail egg dish that is called m e c h u r i a l j a n g j o r i m in Korean. Get two packs of quail eggs, which will be about 36 to 40 eggs depending on the number in a pack. Soak the eggs in cold water for about 10 minutes to help prevent the eggs from breaking when you boil them later. Pour 5 cups of water in a pot and add 1 teaspoon of salt. Then put the eggs in the pot. Set the temperature to high. If the temperature is too high, it will make the eggs break. So once you start to boil, reduce the temperature to medium and cook for 7 more minutes. Meanwhile, prepare 16 garlic cloves and cut 2 tablespoons of green hot pepper and 2 tablespoons of red hot pepper into half inch pieces. After 7 minutes, remove the boiled eggs from the hot water and put them in cold water for several minutes. This makes it easier to remove the shells. Peel off the eggshells. This is how I do for mine. In the same pot that you used to boil the eggs, add 1 and 1 3rd cups of water, quarter generous cup of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of cooking wine, 1 tablespoon of sugar, the garlic, and 4 pieces of dried kelp. Boil it on high. Once it starts to boil, cook for 2 minutes and discard the kelp. Add the quail eggs and cook for 7 minutes on medium-high. After 7 minutes, add the chopped green and red hot peppers and cook for 3 more minutes. We just finished another side dish. In the same way, store it in a container in the fridge. It should keep up to 2 weeks. For the last side, we will make seasoned and roasted dried laver, kimgui in Korean. Obtain about 30 sheets of dried laver. My parents sent this high quality dried laver from Korea, but you can also use the dried laver that is sold at Korean grocery stores or online. Mix together 2 tablespoons of cooking oil and 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. Place all of the dried laver on top of the wax paper. As you can see, one side of the dried laver is shiny and the other side is rough. Put the rough side up since that is the side we will put the oil on. Typically, we use a brush to put oil on the dried laver. Dip a cooking brush into the oil mixture. Brush one side of the dried laver with a generous amount of oil. If you don't have a cooking brush, don't worry, a spoon will work too. Use the spoon like a brush. If you don't have a brush and don't have the patience for a spoon, then you can use my favorite method, which is a standard food preparation glove. Put the glove on, dip your hands in some oil and spread it. Whatever tool you used, once the dried laver has been oiled, then evenly sprinkle one generous pinch of salt on the dried laver. 
Only brush the oil on one side of the dried lever and stack them up as you work through the pile. Then roll all of the dried lever sheets gently together. This will allow the unoiled side of the sheet to soak up some oil and salt. Roast dried lever in a heated pan. Once the pan is heated, keep the temperature set to medium low. Once the dried lever changes to greenish black color, flip it over. It will only take a few seconds to change color, so be careful not to burn it. Place another sheet on top of it. Again, once it changes to a greenish black color, flip the stack over, each time adding another sheet on top. Roast the rest in the same way. Now we have nicely roasted, crispy dried labor sheets. Cut the roasted dried labor in half with scissors. Then divide each half in three. Help keep them fresh by placing them in a plastic container or zipper storage bag. You can store it at room temperature for about two weeks. So we made all three popular Korean side dishes today. Once they have been prepared, it makes it much faster to prepare a Korean meal at a later date. So for my next Friday video, I will show you how to prepare a full Korean meal including these side dishes. So stay tuned. If you liked my Korean side dishes video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.